and whatever and the fans are gonna like it so they're gonna laugh at me and so they're not gonna be angry because the Canadians are losing and they're not gonna lose uh, ticket sales and people are gonna go to see the Canadians because they can laugh a bit at how stupid I am and uh, anyway let's let's try this cook on the inside and um, well the Canadians are gonna draft uh, I don't know, I'm, I haven't been following it recently, so I don't know who the big prospects are this year, but, you know, you, you gotta, to swallow your pride, you gotta learn how to lose, ow, ah, shit, I burned my thumb, you gotta learn how to lose in order to, to win, um, wait a minute, where's it, uh, cook the tomato on the inside, wait a minute, I use the liquid wrench to burn all the mail I get from uh, Scientology um, because the Scientology mail is printed print in a strange kind of plastic paper that uh, is impossible to burn for some reason and whatever. Ah, uh, let's see, we gotta get away. Oof. I hate the black smoke it makes. So we're cooking the tomato. You know, when you look at uh, advertisements sometimes on, on television uh, and they advertise like in a restaurant, you know, uh, food or stuff, sometimes they, they say, oh, it's all good and crispy on the outside and uh, nice and soft on the inside. So, like, why can't we have food that is nice and soft on the outside and nice and crispy on the inside? So that's why I want to cook the tomato, but only cook it on the inside, not on the outside. Uh, this is so, well I should have put the liquor wrench on the toilet paper before, um, don't want to burn my finger here, uh, wait a minute, uh, it smells kind of bad, um, all right, Okay. Um, dried tomato. Ah. Oh yeah, what's one thing I wanted to talk about? Um, I made a video uh, in January about omelets, and uh, I've gotten some private messages and some people saying how can you be so dumb how can you think that the eggshells are actually the egg whites and um, actually I learned what egg whites were uh, by looking on Wikipedia because if you look at all the videos I've made uh, before January of 2009 I think uh, with the exception of the Christmas cake video in no other video will you see me using eggs in no other video will you even see eggs in the kitchen. Uh, at least I don't think so. I don't think there is even one time that you see eggs. And the reason is that I never, I never used eggs before January, uh, with the only exception of making cakes. Um, so I, I never use eggs to make any kind of recipe. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. All right, and uh, when I was uh, in um, you know, the first time I came here, I was 17, and um, I, I it wasn't really a job, but it was um, wait a minute, I was volunteering in uh, a place, and there were, there were kids and all that, and uh, I remember uh, the kids. Um, there and sometimes we would eat uh, boiled eggs and uh, the boiled eggs it's like it's all white and, and soft and, and you cut it in half and there's a part that's clearly white and, and the middle is clearly yellow okay that's the boiled eggs and uh, uh, back then and even before that I had, when I was you know very young you know as a young kid I remember boiled eggs and uh, I don't think it really worked because it's not hard 
I don't know if the tomatoes get hard when you cook them. Wait a minute. And so it's like, uh, back then it kind of reinforced uh, my, uh, my view. And I, and I thought that the eggshells was actually the egg white. And I thought that what happens when you boil eggs um, is simply that the shell gets soft and gets thicker. And that's what I thought. I, I, it, no one ever told me that, you know, what, what an egg white was. And I knew that, uh, you know, um, when um, when in January I started, uh, you know, I want to eat omelets. And um, I think it was earlier in the month, uh, maybe the first week of January, I started to, you know, make an omelet every morning. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to make an omelet every morning because I heard it's, uh, it's healthy. Now, I don't know how this works. There's got oh yes I think I know we could open the, the tomato and cook the inside and then close it so that it gets yeah so that we don't need toilet paper after all wait a minute and um, uh, so when I was making uh, the omelets. At the same time, I was looking for a recipe on how to make uh, uh, the meringue, right? And, you know, whisk the egg whites, whisk the egg whites. And, uh, it, you know, from my time as a kid and later on as a teenager when I, I was seeing, uh, you know, the, the boiled eggs, uh, I, I had always assumed that the shell simply gets soft and it becomes the white. It, it, it's just a logical assumption. I mean, it's not stupid. It's just lack of knowledge, really. And um, so I was told that, you know, the recommendation, you know, when you make the omelets, you know, you use uh, two egg whites and one uh, egg yellow, whatever. The, the, the guy who, he was talking in French, he said in French, uh, deux blancs d'œuf et un œuf anti. He means uh, two egg whites and one uh, entire egg, one whole egg. So, like, uh, two egg whites, I, I thought you need two shells and, and one... Uh, full egg meant the shell plus the yellow that's what I thought and it was just logical and uh, so for a couple of weeks uh, uh, every day I made the omelette in the morning and uh, well maybe not every day but you know most days and um, you know uh, I, I, I was making a video but I could never figure it out well, why doesn't the egg get dissolved or well, why doesn't, doesn't the white uh, dissolve and I kept I remember I was looking on Google, you know, how to whisk egg whites. And um, the first hint I got was that when I was searching on Google for how to whisk egg shells, I wasn't getting many results. I wasn't getting anything, actually. And so I was, oh, yeah, well, maybe they also call them the whites. You know, they call them the shells. You know, egg whites is not a word for the eggshells. And I was getting some results, how to cook the egg whites. And, and I remember the articles that I was reading were saying that whisking the egg whites was difficult you know they, they were they were treating it as if it was something hard to do so i was assuming that since i was never able to actually get them to to dissolve that it was simply because it was a hard thing to do i wasn't i didn't realize that the reason why i couldn't do it was not because i wasn't you know whisking it uh, carefully enough it was because i was whisking the wrong fucking thing and I didn't notice that right away. And you know, when I made the, the omelet video on the, when they had the inauguration of Obama, um, you know, I, I, after I made that video, I went on uh, the internet and I searched again. And uh, I was like, "What the fuck? I'm, I can't. So there's got to be a trick." And I was trying to make another video after I learned the tricks. So, oh yeah, sorry about last video. I didn't mean to do it well, whatever. And then I, I searched for egg whites, and on Wikipedia I found what the egg white was, and I felt like a fucking moron. And I, and I made a topic on uh, Wikipedia, uh, not on Wikipedia, on the HF boards. You can find it when you you make a, a search, you know, uh, and you, you can find uh, January the 25th or 24th or 26th, uh, whatever. Um, and someone asked me, are you daft? You know, and um, later I decided to post a video anyway. But, um, you know, 
it's not stupidity, it's just lack of knowledge. You know, so that's why the IQ tests are bullshit. You know, they ask you about stuff that you learn in school. It doesn't say how intelligent you are. You know, IQ, intelligence, quotient. That's not true. It, it, it doesn't... Knowledge doesn't mean you're intelligent. Intelligence is your ability to acquire knowledge, not how much knowledge you already have. Anyway, good night, guys. Let's see if this works well, huh?